Many public places, including hospitals, have procedures in place to keep everyone safe. And even though they have visitor restrictions, Beaumont Health and Royal Oak offered us an inside look. 7 Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury toured their facility and shows us what's different at the hospital. Members of the media have not been inside Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak since the pandemic started back in March, but now they've opened their doors to give us an idea of the changes they've made to keep visitors, patients and employees safe. Flu-like symptoms? Nope. No. Before anyone walks in, you have to answer some health questions. Loss of taste or smell? No. Sanitized and wearing a mask. That's the protocol that's needed. Curtis Jordan and his daughter Tiffany are waiting for his wife to get out of surgery at Beaumont. His family knows how COVID-19 can be dangerous. His wife Stephanie contracted the virus back in March. That's when the doctors at Beaumont found a tumor on her heart. She was on a ventilator for 30 days, and after recovering, she's now healthy enough for open heart surgery. Obviously, they did a very good job in sustaining her life. Uh, repairing the damage. So Curtis has been in the waiting room, which looks different. Staff removed more than half of the chairs in here. Believe it or not, the hospitals are maybe as safe now as they've ever been. Protocols like social distancing, wearing masks and sanitizing stations are all keeping staff and visitors safe. There are signs everywhere reminding you of this. These plastic barriers were made at the hospital and installed in check in areas. Many entrances and exits are closed. You can enter the ER. The yellow line means you have coronavirus symptoms. Blue means you don't. The main entrance is the South Tower. This big empty space was the food court, but no more tables and chairs. The gift shop is closed. Essentials like Papa Joe's is open. Same with Starbucks. And you can still get these delicious goodies. They are definitely essential if you ask me. In the cafeteria, say goodbye to the salad bar and outdoor seating. We had to shut down some areas. We had to remove chairs from waiting rooms. We had to close down some of our clinics. The hospital says they are adapting based on CDC guidelines. If you'd asked me if we were going to be wearing masks in the middle of June uh, six months ago, I would have probably laughed. And the staff here believe that these new procedures will probably be in place through the summer. In Royal Oak, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.